Hey guys, I'm Loida. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to shoot this very quick video to share with you guys some quick tips if you are working with buyers. Finally, I have had the opportunity to work with some friends that are buying, so I wanted to share with you my experience and what has happened recently that I definitely want you guys to know so you can avoid being this type of agent and also not waste your time. So recently, I was talking to another agent about a property that one of my clients was very, very interested in. Um, after taking a look at the comps, we saw that the price of the home was extremely overpriced and it was to the point that my client no longer even wanted to submit an offer. Now I'm telling you guys this because there will be those times that you show your client a property that's in their price range, but it's your job and your fiduciary duty to do your research and take a look at the comps to make sure that your buyer is not overpaying. At the same time, let's say that your buyer did pay the full asking price, this is what's gonna happen. When the appraiser goes out, they are gonna take a look at comparables and they're gonna see that the value of that property is not the price that you actually submitted for. So let's say, for example, that the price was 700,000, you submitted an offer for 700,000, but the appraiser came back and it only appraised for 650. Chances are that your buyer's not gonna have the cash or they're not gonna wanna overpay the $50,000. At that point, you have to negotiate with the listing agent and come to a conclusion. Either the listing agent is gonna reduce the price to what it actually appraised for, or you guys will have to split the difference or they will have to pay the difference. That's really all negotiable, but at the end of the day, chances are that your buyer is not gonna wanna pay out of pocket, especially when the value of the home is not there. That's pretty much when a buyer backs out of a transaction. And that's why it's your job to take a look at the market, take a look at the comps before you even submit an offer. One thing that you can do, let's say the listing agent is telling you that they are not gonna accept anything less than asking price, is submit an offer at the asking price, but put a term on the contract that if the home appraises for less than the asking price, then the listing agent and the seller have to reduce the price to the appraisal value. I'll repeat that one more time. Put a term on the contract that if the home appraises for less, then the seller has to reduce the price. That way, your buyer is protected. And at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, it's your job to negotiate the lowest price and the best terms for your client. Yes, it's awesome when we are able to sell properties above ask and our buyers are able to pay a lot of money, but at the same time, there's no point in submitting an above asking price offer or an offer at full asking price when comparables show otherwise. At the same time, let's say you do have a very strong qualified buyer that has a lot of money, they're not gonna wanna overpay and maybe even if they do 50, 60% cash or whatever it is, chances are that they're still gonna wanna get an appraisal to make sure that they're paying what the property is worth. So on the other side of the spectrum, if you're a listing agent, don't overprice your properties because all that it's gonna do is that people are gonna fall in love with it, but then they're gonna do their research and they're gonna have their agent do their research to make sure that they're not overpaying. And when they see that you're extremely overpriced, they're gonna think that you are not serious and they're just gonna move on. So that's it for this video. If you learned something, definitely let me know in the comment section, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.